Measures of central tendency are, for example, mean, median and mode. The arithmetic mean is the sum of all observations divided by the number of observations. Let's look at an example. Imagine we have the test scores of 5 students. 85, 90, 78, 92 and 88. To find the mean score, we add up all the scores and divide by the number of scores. So the mean test score of these 5 students is 86.6. What about the median? When the values in a data set are arranged in ascending order, the median is the middle value. If there is an odd number of data points, the median is simply the middle value. If there is an even number of data points, the median is the average of the two middle values. It is important to note that the median is resistant to extreme values or outliers. Let's look at this example. No matter how tall the last person is, the person in the middle remains the person in the middle, so the median does not change. But if we look at the mean, it does have an effect on how tall the last person is. Let's continue with the mode. The mode refers to the value or the values that appear most frequently in a dataset. A few points to note about the mode. If a dataset has one value that appears more frequently than any other, it has one mode and is called unimodal. For example, in the dataset 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, the mode is 4. If a dataset has two values that appear most frequently, it has two modes and is called bimodal. For instance, in this dataset, the modes are 4 and 5. Of course, a dataset can also have more than two modes. If it has multiple values that appear most frequently, it is termed multimodal. And some datasets might not have any repeating values or the repeating values all have the same frequency. In such cases, the dataset has no mode. Let's briefly compare measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion. Let's say we measure the blood pressure of patients. Measures of central tendency provide a single value that represents the entire dataset, helping to identify a central value around which data points tend to cluster. Measures of dispersion, like the standard deviation, the range and the interquartile range, indicate how spread out the data points are whether they are closely packed around the center or spread far from it. In summary, while measures of central tendency provide a central point of the dataset, measures of dispersion describe how the dataset is spread around that center. I hope you enjoyed the video.